This module is going to show how to calculate returns using adjusted close data. We have here Amazon data from 1997 through August 25th, 2020. And again, we are going to calculate uh, daily returns in this case because this is daily data. So I'm going to freeze the frame here so that we can always see that. And I am going to calculate the daily return here. Daily return. And it's very simple. We're going to implement one or the other of your formulas. That's the return next. Adjusted close. Next period. This period. Minus one. There it is. Copy that down. By the way, go all the way down. This one, at the end, we have a minus 1 here. If you look at that formula, it's referring to something. Just take that out. And there you have your average daily returns. So there you go. We've calculated our average daily returns relatively simply. Here, we are looking at question 3 of homework 1. And here we ask you to come up with the returns for bear. And here's the data. So you're going to use adjusted close to come up with the return over here. We asked you to come up with it for Amazon. You can put the Amazon data over here. But you got that. We already got that. We downloaded it from here. Just copy and paste it over into here. And do, then do the return calculation here. Now, one other note. Note, this is the date May 19, 1997. This data goes back to December 2nd, 1996. Our Amazon day of data only goes back to May 15th, 1997. We got the maximum. So when we're going to calculate returns in this example, we want to make sure that they're matched by year. All right? And then you're going to use this series to calculate means, geo means, standard deviation, but here's where it gets important. We're going to do a correlation coefficient. These have to be matched to do a correlation coefficient. So that's why we're doing it. All right, there's how you calculate adjusted returns, excuse me, daily returns or whatever returns from adjusted close data.